Hello there you guys, welcome to another one of my live videos and Manchester United have just beaten Bournemouth um, at the Vitality Stadium um, by two goals to one. Very, very good victory now. Uh, two wins now on the trot um, in the Premier League. Um, I think puts us into seventh place, so we've now played six. Uh, sorry, played 11, won six, drawn two. No, we've played, we've played 11, won six, drawn two and um, lost three. Um, in the current uh, process, but it's a very, very good result because we know, considering that Bournemouth have uh, been in fantastic form, you know, they haven't lost, a, you, you know, before today they hadn't lost in September, you know, and we continue that fantastic record um, against Bournemouth um, in the current process because obviously, you know, we continue that fantastic record against them. They're winless now in six games against uh, Manchester United, and we know they have been in um, fantastic form of um, Bournemouth, so two goals to one today. Currently, you know, our goal difference isn't looking very, very good this season as it did, you know, compared to Jose Reno's first season. You know, we've conceded 18 goals now in the Premier League in our first um, 11 um, games um, in the current process. But we know before going into the game that Fellaini was out, Doyle was out, uh, one of our summer signings, and um, uh, Antonio Valencia was out as well. And we know Romulo Lukaku was absent from the squad um, as well. So he did put Antonio Martial um, at centre forward because Lukaku, you know, hasn't scored in like nine or so games. I thought Mourinho would have played him, you know, considering his previous record um, against Bournemouth um, as well um, in the current um, process. So basically, Manchester United win today by um, two goals to one. Very, very good result. Our third away win um, of uh, the, the season. Um, so far, basically going into the game, the first half, Manchester United weren't in the game much. We were struggling to get through the channels. We were struggling to create a uh, real pressure on Bournemouth. Bournemouth played very, very well in the first half. You know, Bournemouth had uh, chances through Ryan Fraser. It was clear on goal. David De Gea had saved it. Um, also, uh, Stanislas uh, had a couple of chances. Um, Stanislas had a couple of um, chances um, of his own um, as well. Um, also, Callum Wilson uh, had a couple of chances, especially you know um, in the first half. But uh, Bournemouth had uh, broken the deadlock. Um, um, it was a ball in um, from uh, Stanislas. Stanislas played well for them today. He got the assist, played it into the box. Callum Wilson. Uh, made it 1-0 to Bournemouth and then basically Bournemouth had chances of their own Bournemouth could have uh, doubled their lead quite easily because you know we left acres of spaces at times um, in that game where Bournemouth you know Bournemouth easily got through the channels at times especially in the first half and you know yet yet again Manchester United get an equaliser 10 minutes before half time Antonio Martial gets his name on the score sheet yet again um, Alexis Sanchez uh, got the assist there uh, was ball paired from Ashley Young Played it through to um, Sanchez, crossed it in, Martial in the six-yard box and took it away and that makes it 1-1. Um, and then basically, um, basically, you know, um, half time, you know, there was talks that there could have been a few penalty uh, decisions in the game. You know, there was one Luke Shaw fouled a Bournemouth player in the box. There was a penalty decision there. Um, also, you know, um, in the second half, um, Manchester United, you know, come out a lot sharper, a lot stronger. I thought Matic, you know, played ve very, very well. I thought his passing was very, very good. I thought Sanchez did okay. His passing was very, very good um, as well. Um, Martial played very, very well um, as well. Uh, there was also a talking point in the second half. Manchester United, you know, brought some just juices on. We had quite a lot of chance in the second half. You know, Luke Shaw had the chance. His chance it was saved by Begovic. Um, also, Ashley Young had a free kick uh, that came off the post. Um, there was also two Rashford um, try getting the rebound in. It was cleared off the line. There was talks of appeal of an handball there. And Pogba tried following through when it was cleared um, off the line again. Also, Herrera had a chance uh, that just went wide. Um, also, Lingard had a chance when he came on for Alex Sanchez. It was saved uh, by the goalkeeper. Um, but we had quite a few chances, you know, especially, you know, um, in the uh, second half. Um, but it was very, very good to see, you know, we brought substitutions on. Lingard came on for Sanchez. Um, I think, yeah, Lingard came on for Sanchez. Um, Ma uh, Herrera came on for uh, Fred and Mata. Uh, and I think it was, who was the substitution now? I think Mata uh, came on for... Um, oh, sorry, no, Herrera came on for Fred. Lingard came on for Sanchez. And uh, I think, no, it was Herrera that came on for Fred, Lingard came on for Sanchez, and uh, there was another substitution, and Rashford came on for Mata, that's it. Uh, I just got a bit confused there, guys. So it was Rashford that came on for Mata in the second half, Herrera that came on for Fred, and uh, Lingard that um, came on for Sanchez in the current process. Herrera had a chance. Um, as I said, we could have scored from that free kick quite easily, but uh, yeah, and Manchester United did wrap it up. Uh, it looked, it was looking like it was going to head a draw between the two teams. In the ninth, it was nine, nine, uh, four minutes when I did it on, uh, the referee had put nine, 
four minutes added time on. Rashford had scored in the 92nd minute of stoppage time. Uh, Paul Pogba had um, got the assist. Very, very good indeed. Paul Pogba crossed the ball in. It fell to nowhere. It fell to Rashford. And Rashford took it away and made it 2-1. And that secured us the three points today. But it's a very, very good result, you know, especially, you know, considering that Bournemouth spent £49 million pound last summer window. You know, Heidi, Heidi Howie spent the majority of his career with Bournemouth. Um, as we all know, it was a spell with Burnley at um, one point um, as well. Don't forget, you know, for staff, we didn't play very, very well. Bournemouth, you know, put a lot of pressure on us. You know, Stanislas played well for them. Fraser played well. You know, they looked dangerous on the counter-attack for Bournemouth. You know, Callum Wilson, you know, continues his fantastic record, getting his name on the score sheet as well. You know, he's involved now in 10 goals um, this season uh, for Bournemouth. As we all know, he got nominated player of the month. Um, but it's very, very good to see that fantastic two young age talents getting the name on the score sheet yet again. Martial, this is now fourth goal, you know, now in like three games or something like that. Um, you know, Rashford scoring as well. Fantastic two young age, you know, talents, you know, run everything here apart from the Premier League um, and the Champions League. So it's a very, very good result indeed. You know, we're still lacking in that defensive area because you could see in the first half, we, you know, we left acres of space, you know, at, time, at a lot of times in that first half where Bournemouth, you know, could have scored um, more than once. So it's just... Basically, a good job that we've uh, got David De Gea in goal. Um, as we all know, Jose Mourinho does really want Martial to stay at the club. You know, is it basically Martial's agents being in um, it, being in discussions about um, a new contract? You know, his current uh, deal comes to an end, comes to a conclusion soon. This is uh, Antonio Martial. He was fantastic with Leon, fantastic with Monaco, and since he's come to Manchester United, I think you know it has a. Um, being fantastic um, as the player and he will uh, grow and develop into his game with Antonio uh, Martial so the, the agent you know he said he was going to leave during the summer Tottenham were interested in they had been discussions between Tottenham and Manchester United Martial didn't leave so I'm very very um, delighted about that we know there's also been you know Jose Mourinho basically, you know, he's been back now during the summer, you know, before the Newcastle game. It said regardless of the result, Jose Mourinho was going to get the sack from Manchester United. It didn't happen. Um, but, yeah, there's been potential talks, you know, between Mourinho and Ed Woodward about, you know, his future at the club, about potentially, allegedly, he's going to be getting £100 million spending spree uh, in the January window is Jose Mourinho. He says we still need to spend money to complete with the European teams especially. Um, this is what Jose Mourinho um, had said. And he, do, he does want Jose, he does want Antonio Marcel to stay as Jose Mourinho because he has praised him, you know, for his fantastic performances lately, um, Antonio Marcel. He's praised quite a lot of the players. I thought, you know, Matic played well today for Manchester United. He played really, really well. I thought Pred played OK. Pogba played all right. He, oh, he got an assist, didn't he? Um, you know, but we didn't have Lukaku in that squad today. Um, as we all know, he was absent from um, from the squad. Um, we know Manchester United have got Juventus next. You know, with um, as Jose Mourinho basically said he wants a defender, he wants another attacker in there. You know, alongside Lukaku to lead the lines and you know to score more goals. We know there's still defensive problems um, in that squad. I think Lindelof slightly improved now, especially this season. Eric Plyle, um hasn't featured much this season, um, as we all know. Um, but this, you know, Marshall's coming to an end of his deal. I hope he signs a new deal. Also, David De Gea, who we've had since 2011 um, under um, Alex Ferguson. David De Gea has yet to sign that um, new deal. Jose Mourinho said he, last week he wasn't confident that he would sign that extension. He does have the option to extend his contract till 2020. David De Gea potentially isn't focusing on his contract. He's just focusing um, about winning. We know Real Madrid have been, um, you know, have been heavily linked with him. You know, since they got caught to eye, you know, they've stubbed their interest in De Gea. Juventus have. Um, had a link with link with him um, as well, um, but yeah, um, there has been a lot of talks um, going on um, in the press um, at the um, current uh, present time about Mourinho. Now he's reportedly um, getting backed from the board. The board's going to back Mourinho because you know with his fantastic pedigree that he's had, you know he's won titles um, everywhere he's been. And so you know some pundits can believe Jose Mourinho now can turn it around at Manchester United. We've got two wins out of two now in the Premier League. Back to back wins, you know, it's only our third away win of the season, and it's a very, very good result, you know, considering Bournemouth have got a good set of bunch of players out there. You know, they've been in fantastic form, you know, before today. They hadn't been beaten since, since September, they'd been unbeaten in six home games uh, at the Vitality Stadium, you know, uh, before um, today um, as well. So potentially, I'd like to see a striker coming at Manchester United. I still maybe want to see a winger maybe coming. You know, Marshall's you know only young. I'd like to see you know maybe an experienced winner coming. You know, you know can put more crosses into the box. I'd love Ivan Perisic to come to Manchester United. You know, very very good with Inter Milan. Um, you know, we've been heavily linked with Bale since 2013 as well. You know, his injury prone had concerned me, but we know he's Premier League proven. You know, he's won honours with Real Madrid. Um, 
But yeah, we know Jose Mourinho's been linked to the likes of Harry Maguire. He's been linked to the likes of, you know, um, Toby Alderweireld as well. So Jose Mourinho will have plans uh, for the January window. So that's currently my view today for the Bournemouth Fans United game. And um, we have got Juventus coming up. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Then we have got the big game, Manchester Derby next week. Good news for his Kevin De Bruyne could be out to five to six weeks. Um, so that's good news for Manchester United. You know, City have spent a lot of money as well as Manchester United. We spent a billion pound on all the manager areas. This is our. This is not a very very good start to the season. So now we can forget all about it and try go on a winning streak. You know, and David Moyes. Even you know he was a bad manager. We didn't he have a even this bad start. You know, with David Moyes. Uh, or even Louis van Gaal, but now hopefully we can pick you know the wins up. We've got two wins out two now in the Premier League. Everton last week, Bournemouth this week. You know it. You know it's comparable to the good old days under Ferguson. You know scoring late on, and we've done that today. We've got the three points, and it's a very very good result. So anyway, guys, it's everything for today. Today, drop your comments, like, on the channel, subscribe as always. Take care. God bless, guys. See you all again very very soon. Bye.